So guys, in this video, I'm gonna be telling you guys how I dyed my hair Yo, using yeah, the water bottle method. Give me five, it's a vibe In the hood like drive-bys I ain't talking, waving hands When I'm in Dubai, bye With the people that I love Rep them till I die, die And I'm fly When you fly, they get you the side eye Ooh. I'm gonna be putting uh, my wig on the mannequin head So I'm able to measure out where I'm gonna be putting my birthmark Because I want it literally right in the middle As you guys can see right here I'm literally looking at the screen and that Obviously brushing it out so I don't miss any like important parts i don't know why that's important but it is but <laughs> yeah hmm? swear down this girl's always disturbing me while i'm doing videos but anyway i got a wrapped tail comb and i'm literally just trying to get a middle part of my wig and literally just get in spaces where I do want my birth, my, my, ugh, my birthmark to be, boy, yeah, my birthmark to be and I'm just literally trying to combine the two bits from each side together with a hairband as you guys can see right now and I'm just making it go out the way so I'm not mixing in the hair dyes so it can be, you know, it can make sense. <laughs> So now I'm literally getting my Royal Navy hair dye and putting it in the bucket of water, getting rid of literally all of it. Get it in there. And then I'm gonna get my conditioner. So it prevents basically the brushiness of the 613 hair. And I'm also getting my hair dye whisk. And that's what I'm gonna call it guys, my hair dye whisk. And literally just mix it together. <laughs> yeah man. So literally after that, whisking it, I'm going to put my hair in there, gently, gently, consecutively, consistently inside the bucket and just like eyeball it. Guys, I, all I do is eyeball, I swear down, like that's all I do. So I'm literally just plonking it up and down, up and down, up and down so it can get saturated in the hair. Because it won't go straight to the track without like ruining the net, I got my hair dye whisk and I'm literally just grabbing a bit and dragging it from the track. These waffles are too pain. Now as you can see, I'm literally just drying it with my hands, just getting all the excess water out gonna put it in a towel just to dry out a bit while I just change the water so I can do my birthmark now so now I've gotten the hair dye color indigo blue and I'm just repeating what I did last time on the other hair dye and just literally put it in a bucket full of water and then I'm just gonna literally whizzle it round with my whisk and you know yeah So I'm now literally putting my wig, or the birthmark area, in the hair dye, just dunking it in and out consecutively and all them things they are. And guys, you'll never guess what flipping happened next, bruv. The thing drops, fam. I was so mother flipping confused. I was discombobulated, perplexed. I was thinking, hey, how am I cleaning this? My rent, hey, deposits. So obviously, Q clip. That's a bit awkward. Aha. Yeah, I was never actually <laughs> getting my deposit taken away from me. So yeah, I cleaned that shit quick. But yeah, as you can see now, I'm literally just checking the tracks to see if I've missed any places. I forgot to take the hairband out. How stupid of me. So now I dipped it in back in because there was space between the hairband where it wasn't dyed. So I'm literally just dipping it in. Swiveling it. We're in it. <laughs> I 
obviously now I've just gotten rid of the excess water as you can see I'm literally just going to put it in my towel again to just dry for a bit while I just get rid of my bucket again keep the way I throw it on the floor look at me no manners <laughs> Now I'm literally just eyeballing it as you can see when I was looking at the screen just seeing if there's any places or patches I've missed out on hair dye and I'm just getting my brush and just brushing it out so I get to see it correctly you know once it's um, a bit dry-ish. I'm now making the part in of the birthmark to see if it makes sense. Brushing it out again. Look at the way I'm just struggling with the mannequin. It didn't want to stay in one place. I swear down time. Best swiveling and swirling. <laughs> Did you see the way I got irritated, boy? <laughs> that is two jokes. But yeah, I'm just brushing the hair out once again. Obviously, I go back with the indigo blue, and I'm just literally just going on top of my wig because I've definitely missed out some bits. literally just going across the hair just to make it make it blend in so there's no areas once again as I'm saying I sound like I'm some computer bruv but yeah just going through from the roots to the ends guys don't copy me in this bit be sensible literally try your best to wear gloves of course Try your best to do it with the watercolour technique all at once so you don't have to go through this annoying process of making it literally perfect on how you want it to be because honestly this actually went wrong as soon as I dropped that bowl done for literally <laughs> done for so don't be like me in this case you get me sorry about that guys <laughs> so now that I finished dyeing the hair I'm literally just gonna go in my kitchen now and get a plastic bag so i'm just covering the hair for like what around five hours no i've done it for a whole day yeah this is how it turned out cute in it angles that's literally how easy it is to do i don't know why people on youtube make it so complex like it's really not that deep but i really hope you guys um got something from this video and you guys can do it as well you guys can also show me what you guys have done because i love seeing if i'm a teacher but yeah um hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like comment subscribe and see you in the next video gang